glorify you, God, because you can do anything but fail. We glorify you tonight, God, because you're the way maker. We glorify you tonight because you're the burden bearer. And so we worship you tonight. We worship you tonight for being the healer that you are. We worship you tonight for being the magnifier. You can take anything and magnify it. You can take anything and magnify it. Oh, come on, somebody glorify him. Come on, a few more seconds. A few more seconds. A few more seconds. A few more seconds. Oh, Rabbi Kashaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. Oh, you may be seated in this presence. Oh, God. We give you praise. Somebody help me sing that. We give you praise. Come on, everybody sing that. We give you praise. Lord, now and always. Lord, now and always. We give you praise. Come on, one more time, everybody. Come on. We Oh, come on and sing it like you mean it. We give Lord, now and always you for joining us today if you just tuned in thank you for being tuned in to the next dimension of what God is getting ready to do in our lives all over the world and we thank God for his goodness and his mercy get your Bibles if you would it's static can you come to me please so you can hear it want to start out with the book of 
First John, I'm, I'm sorry, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Jeremiah 1 and 5. Thank you so much, musician. Jeremiah 1 and 5, and I, if you just tuned in, I think I made the statement earlier that I'm just trying my best to hold off on taking us up until we understand why we are going up. Amen, somebody. We got to know why we're going up, and we got to know who we are and who God is while he's taking us up. Because we don't need to be confused anymore. And I say that because I was just hearing someone speak that earlier today. And he was talking about us having a manifestation but not getting the results that we need. And so when we're not getting the results that we need, then it's because something about the way we are believing or something about in whom we are believing, something is wrong. And so we have to find out where the problem is. Somebody say where the problem is. Say we got to find out where the problem is. Yes. So the book of Jeremiah, the first chapter and the fifth verse, it says... And I'm going to keep laying into this scripture. So if you're watching uh, by Facebook, by television, whatever social media site you're watching this from, I want you to let Jeremiah 1 and 5, uh, I want that to become branded in your mind. Branded in your mind. Jeremiah 1 and 5 in the Amplified Bible, it says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and I consecrated you to myself as my own. I have appointed you as a prophet to the nation. And so we also, as a recap, learned that that particular text of prophet means I've asked you or I have ordained you or consecrated you to be a teacher, to be a teacher. And so in looking at that, we cannot find out where we are and where we're going until we do research to find out where exactly the problem is. Because we can keep saying over and over and over again, it's the devil. But, but what part of the devil? What, what, what is there? everything that I try to do? It just seems like... It just, but we got him running all through your, no, I heard him in the basement. I heard him upstairs. I heard him in the bathroom. Because as a believer now, we have to become strengthened enough in our walk that we can search him out and we know where he is. And we know what he's trying to do. Because if I know what you're trying to do, I know how to stop you. God have mercy. I know what you're trying to attack me with. I know how to rebuke you. I know what steps to take to guard myself from that attack. And so when you look at the scripture, we got to go back then to the beginning. So we knew that, you know, the Lord said in the book of Genesis 1, you know, uh, let us, you know, we, I, I want to create man in my image. I want to create the universe. I want to spend seven days and I want to create everything that I'm supposed to create. But in the second uh, chapter of the book of Genesis, it said, and God scooped up, for the sake of time, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing this scripture, and God scooped up the dust from the earth and, 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 he, and he created man and then man became a living soul. And I want to really, really... Um, take my time to really dig in this uh, tonight and we give God praise for Pastor and Dr. Johnson being here tonight. Man became a living soul. So this living soul, then we have, to, we have to be able to break down what is the soul of man. 
And I have to keep repeating it until, until we started like singing it in our head, like almost, it's like a, like a symphony, like, like every time I hear soul, I know exactly what I'm talking about. Man became a living soul. Man became a, a living mind. Because the soul is the mind of man. Man became a living soul. He became a living mind. And not just a living mind, Mother Gathers. He became the mind of God. He became the mind of God. Now I want you to see this. Which means when God got finished. When God got finished. Man had some extraordinary abilities because he said if i'm going to make man in my likeness that word likeness bears to be repeated that word likeness is the same word as holy when he said be ye holy for i am holy so he said i'm going to make man in my likeness and and so the word ho and li is to be attracted to a likeness so man became a a living soul but he became the image of God and God did that because I wanted him to be like us which means I wanted him to not just be holy but I wanted him to be whole and I wanted him to have a God kind of mind I wanted him to be able to do as I do and that's why he said when I created man I gave them authority and I said to them I'm going to allow you to have power and you're going to have power to be able to name what I created. Because you're in my likeness, we're not separated. So the mind that you're using is my mind. So I would never disagree with what you name it. Y'all come on somebody. Because we are of the same We are of the same mind. So I'm not going to fight what you name this. Now, let me show us how if man had not ever failed good lord have mercy then everything that he was able to speak that's what god agreed with so when you look at the situation right now what is god trying to do for us he's trying to return us back to that state he's trying to bring us back to the place mother gathers that we can speak those things which be not as though they were that he's given us back our power to be able to use our voice to speak things into existence and that's why he said whatsoever you bound on earth is bound in heaven and we're talking about people that are in right relationship whatsoever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven why because now we are back in agreement because of the plan of salvation we're back in alignment and so I'm not disagreeing with you because now your mind is lining up with my mind so we're back one in the spirit. Are y'all hearing this? Are y'all hearing this? I'm going somewhere with this. It's going to be something. So then he said, man became a living soul. But look at Genesis 6 and 5. Look at Genesis 6 and 5. Go with me tonight. You're watching Genesis 6 and 5. It says, the Lord, now, now watch this. The Lord saw that the wickedness depravity of man was great on the earth and that every imagination or intent of the thoughts of his heart were only evil continually watch this watch this the lord saw that the wickedness depravity of man was great upon the earth let's stop and deal with the word depravity i want you to see something I want you to see something uh, in that word, depravity. What does it mean for God to look up on man and see that his, his, his whole being was now a deprived, a deprived being? Because deprived means to remove or withhold something from the enjoyment or possession of a person or persons. Okay. So God was able to recognize that man was deprived because now mother gathers man was removed from God. So when you're being deprived of something, you're being deprived of it because the enemy wants to disconnect. Now watch what he wants to disconnect. I thank God for pastor coming. 
Somebody put your hands together for my pastor. So, 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 so here it is. Man is now going through this deprived state. So God said, I'm seeing that man is deprived, but he is wicked. So he's going through a deprived state. So what does deprived mean? Watch this. Deprived means, watch this, to disable somebody's ability. To disable our ability. So now man was no longer the superpower. Because the enemy had disabled his ability. Come on somebody. That's when you know that you're being affected by the hands of the enemy. That's when you know that you're being deceived and you're being attacked by the hands of the enemy. Because you start losing your ability. Good Lord have mercy. You start using the words I can't. You're never supposed to say that word. You start saying, I don't know if it's going to work out. And I don't know if God's going to do it. And I don't know. If it, 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 I, I, just, I, I just might as well just give up. See, all of that is connected with a spirit of depravity. Because the enemy don't want you to have the connection that will bring you supernatural power. Lord Jesus, I just felt that in my spirit. So, so watch this. So watch this. Deprived. To deprive is of legal power to act in a specified way to deprive of qualifications or strength to make incapable in other words to weaken you to make you feel like you don't have the strength I'm going somewhere with this tonight no no this is going to be good he wants us to feel like we don't have the strength but watch what God said right here watch what he said watch what he said the Lord saw that the wickedness, depravity of man was great on the earth and that every imagination or intent of the thoughts of his heart were only evil continually. Okay, I was upstairs and I was laid back on the couch, on the chair, and I heard the Lord say something. I said I was going to just get me a nap and I was just going to just relax before I come down. And I heard the Lord say to me, he said, do you know why I was really offended by man? Because I even said that I even regretted making him. And I said, okay, Lord. He said, you know, man ate of the tree of knowledge. He touched what I told him not to touch. And I said, okay. And I'm laying there, Dr. Johnson, and I'm just kind of just molding over and just praying about, you know, the teach tonight. He said, man ate reversal. He said what they did was they, they ate the thing that reversed everything that I had done for them. In other words, man chewed backwards. He chewed the spirit of backwards. Okay. He chewed the spirit of the opposite direction. Because God is a God, is a God of the future. He said prudence. God dwells with prudence. And what is prudence? The care and the attitude toward the future. If you want to know where God is, he's in the future. He's not in your past. So what the, watch this. What the enemy did was made them eat of the tree that would tell them how to do things backwards. Oh, God, is he's saying something right there, people. He's saying something right there. They didn't know how to go backwards. They didn't know how to be human. They didn't know any of those things. So people said, well, God made evil. Hold on a minute. No, God made man with a will. And then God made man with a will. And man ate reversal. When man ate reversal, because he made him with an imagination, the Bible just said that his imagination thought of everything that was evil. You don't hear me. Yes, cocaine was in the earth realm, but it was the imagination of the divine reversal of the mind of man that began to use it for evil. Oh, y'all. I can't hear nobody talk to me right there. I can't hear no, 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 no. It's what he imagined in his mind. He said, I looked out, Dr. Johnson, and all I saw was evil all over the earth realm from man's no, not from what I did. Oh my goodness. Because I put them in the garden of Eden. Everything I made, I said it was good. He said, I looked out in the earth realm and I saw that everything that man imagined was continual evil. Okay. 
Somebody getting this. Somebody getting this. So, 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 what? yeah, 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 Danielle. It, it, it's like, it's like they ate and then they started imagining evil. And then evil started penetrating the earth realm until God said, I regret I ever made them. Okay. Because they didn't need, I want you to hear this. They didn't need another understanding. They didn't need another understanding. They were of the same likeness of God. Watch this. Watch this. So when they ate, they got a different understanding. Good Lord, have mercy. I'm, I'm, let me, let me, let me. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me. Let me help us with this. Let me help us with this. Good Jesus, have mercy. Who? Go to Deuteronomy. Watch this. Go to Deuteronomy. Go to Deuteronomy with me. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, the 29th verse. Because I want us to see something. No, skip over. Stay right there, but go to Psalms 33 and 13. We're going to go there first. We're going to go there first. We're going to go there first. Psalms 33, 13 through 22. Okay. It says here, the Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all the sons of man. From his dwelling place, he looks closely up on all the inhabitants of the earth. Watch this. He who fashions the hearts of them all, who considers and understands all that they do. The king is not saved by the great size of his army. A warrior is not rescued by his great strength. A horse is a false hope for victory nor does it deliver anyone by its great strength behold the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him and worship him with all inspired reverence and obedience watch this on those who hope confidently in his compassion and loving kindness now he's telling us here I am the one that makes the heart I fashion the heart Watch this. So I'm the only one that know how to convert to heart. Good Lord Jesus. That's why substance abuse and all of these things would never work. Now we're getting ready. I'm getting ready to hit something that's, that's getting ready to make you put your thinking cap on. Okay? We're going to have to put our thinking caps on now. Because I wrote a book. I wrote a book a while back called Matters of the Heart. And in that book... I was talking about the heart's code. And some of you all have read that book. You watching my internet, you read that book. I was talking about the heart's code and I was talking about how the heart has a code in it where when they put this heart inside the people of people that have died, the person would begin to act like the person and do things like the person and whatever. So I started thinking in my mind, I started saying, well, wait a minute, wait a minute because something over here that I'm studying is not really lining up because if the heart has a cold and you can put a heart in a person and that person start acting like that person then what is this that I just I just read what is this that God is saying here that I just was able to unfold so he said to me I want you to always remember that every part of the human body is a manifestation of the mind of the man. Okay. I'm going to say that one more time. You ready for me to say that one more time? So when you cut somebody out, your lips is doing it, your teeth is doing it, your tongue is doing it, your breath is doing it. But the hidden entity, as to the reason why you were able to do that, is in your mind. Okay, because the brain doesn't govern the mind, the mind governs the brain. I got to keep telling you that. The brain doesn't tell the mind what to do. The brain takes in information. Watch this. And after you keep it for 10 seconds, then it goes into your thinking cap. And we're going to talk about that. And so now my mind is what governs my life. Okay, so now let's look at that heart code. Then if that's the heart code, then 
what was in that person's heart is not the heart we think it is. So when God says, I want to convert your heart, he's not talking about the heart from the brain stem, which is the physical heart, the heart that's in your chest. That one, he ain't talking about that one because that one is a manifestation of your mind. Okay, y'all looking. Y'all looking like, wait. Because I know we just stood in church and said, it's in my heart. It ain't in that one. Okay. I can't get y'all to talk back to me. I knew this one was going to be a rough one right here. I knew this one was going to be a rough one right here. He ain't talking about the brain stem heart. He's not talking about the heart that's connected to the physical body, the liver, the kidneys. All of that. Those are organs. Watch this. Well, why does the heart, how does it, how does it operate in somebody else? Because it has a cold. The heart now has its behavior from the mind. Good Lord have mercy. I just felt that. I just felt that. See, 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 that's the part of you that said, well, I can't stop drinking. I can't stop drinking. Why? 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 Why does your appetite keep desiring it? It's not because, come on here somebody, it's not because of just your flesh. It now has a behavior. People that cuss all the time, that's their behavior. People that fornicate all the time, that's their behavior. Why? The body, the nervous system, your sexual organs have been trained now. And so now they have a natural reflex. Oh God, come on somebody. Your mind has trained your body to do that. It's called an addiction. It's called an addiction. I'm addicted to evil because my mind has trained my brain for years to project this. So, so it's like, um, it's like, it's like going to an AA meeting. Hello, my name is Juanita. I'm an alcoholic. Come on, somebody. That's what it's like. Hello, my name is Gwen. I'm a sex addict. Hello, my name is Cookie. I'm a cigarette addict. It's addictions. Because now I'm accustomed to operating in a certain way. So now my body has a cold. Somebody better say something up in here. Lord have mercy. I know. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. So here we go. So here we go. So then, so then what are you talking about? So he said, my, that word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Watch this. So then we're saying, you know, the word has I hid, that word have I hid, Psalms 119, that word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. That part of your heart doesn't have, it doesn't contain a hiding place. Good Lord have mercy. Jesus, I can't get nobody to talk to me up in here. So there's a part, now, now we're talking about conversion. So now there's a part of your heart, a part of your brain that is called the limbic system which has eight different sections to it. So that's your whole motory. Everything that goes on in your life comes from that limbic system. So then, you know, and, and we're going to get into all of that. But, but I want to go to the limbic system and I want to go to this part right here. So, in the limbic system of the brain, there is, watch this, watch this, this is going to bless you so good. There is a part of the brain that's called the thalamus. And the thalamus, T-H-A-L-A-M-U-S. The, the thalamus is not, <laughs> the thalamus is the part of the brain that contains your secrets. It is the part of your brain that houses the deep thought and then distributes it. Y'all, come on, here, somebody. 
come on here. Scientists have proven that this part of the brain is the heart of the mind. You don't hear me. Are y'all hearing this? Are you hearing this? Which means when you talk about being saved and converted in your heart, it's the heart that is in your brain. Not the heart that is in your chest. Okay. Lord have mercy. Y'all making me preach too hard tonight. Yeah, that's where you hold your deep secrets at. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's where that's why that's where all five of your senses are joined together. And then watch this. And they start sending a message, and that's the reason why. God said in the book of Hebrews, in the in the book of Hebrews 8 and 10, he says, I'm going to I'm no, I'm going to take you to it because I want you to see this. I want you to see this. The scientists have called that part of the brain, Pastor, the biblical heart. The biblical heart. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, write it down. That's my heart. Mm-hmm. Because the Bible tells us, watch this, that, that, that I'm to meditate on the word day and night. How can what in your chest meditate? It's in here. Meditation is to retain thought. You don't retain thought in your chest. You retain thought in your head. Come on here, somebody. Y'all better come on and go with this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Conversion has to start in the heart of the mind. That's why he said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. That's where conversion starts at, right there. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind because your true heart is in your mind. That's where you feel from. When anything happens to you from your five senses, anything that happens in the atmosphere of a church service, you feel that thing first in the thalamus, not in your chest. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is somebody getting this? Is somebody getting this? I know you got to change your thinking. I know you got to change your thinking. And I know that's going to take you a minute because uh, that's why <laughs> Deuteronomy 4 and 29 and 30 said, said, if you seek him, you will find him when you search for him with all your heart. To, watch this. All your heart and your soul. But Psalms 12 and 2 says that we have to be careful of the double-minded heart. Come on here. Of the double the, watch, watch, watch this. It's called the heart mind. The Bible called it that. I didn't call it that. Okay, okay, okay. Psalm 16, 7 through 9 call it. My heart mind is an instrument in the night. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God. Mother Gavis. <laughs> Jesus. Pastor, everybody quiet on me tonight. Everybody quiet. No, let's go to let's go to Psalm 16, 7 through 9. You go, he gon he gon he gon he gonna bless us. He gonna bless us. He gonna bless us. It says, I will bless the Lord who has counseled me indeed. My heart mind instructs me in the night. My who mind? My who mind? Not my chest mind, but my who mind. Where do I get my instructions from? In my night season, where do I get my instructions from? And he said, I have set the Lord continually before me because he is my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory, my glory, my innermost self rejoices. My body too, my body too, my innermost self rejoices and my body too, my innermost 
self, my innermost self is invisible. You can't see that. So they can't be talking about the heart that's in your chest. That's why it says, and my body too. Which means when my innermost self is changed, my body comes along. When my innermost self is changed, my kidneys come along. When my innermost self is changed, my liver straighten out. When my innermost self is changed, my heart condition is relieved. When my innermost self, oh, come on, somebody. HIV is drying up. When my innermost self is rejoicing, cancer is leaving. In other words, it has to happen in my innermost self first, and then my body will come along. Is, is, is anybody understanding that? You understand that? Your innermost self, your innermost self cannot be seen. Your innermost self cannot be seen. So this is where we now take responsibility for what we have let in. And then we have to take responsibility because we have 10 seconds to reject it. And so everything that came to my five senses, I smell weed and then I wanted it. Uh-huh. Taste, touch, smell, hearing. Come on, come on, come on, sight. So whatever I took into my five senses that I did not reject, that was not in alignment with the divine plan of God for my life, it now belongs to my heart. And because it belongs to my heart, I will soon see it in my body. Well, they, well, you know, y'all, a lot of people didn't know I was going to be here on Tuesday night, but I, you, I've, so I got about five people in here almost, so I'm just talking to y'all tonight on, on Facebook, because they, they don't want coal on me up in here. They don't want coal up in here because, because now they want to have some kind of excuse as to the reason why I can't get it together. The reason why you can't get it together, because you have not in your mind good lord have mercy you have not owned it uh, you listen you have heard the word preach but you have not owned it because when you say this scripture is mine this word that she preaching is mine this word that pastor is preaching is mine then next week you will start seeing that come out of your life and you ain't gotta try to live holy you ain't gotta try to live right you ain't gotta try to look for a miracle it's automatic because it's a reflection it's an impulse y'all come on somebody Woo. it's a reflex look 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 watch how I do this well we hear the word of the Lord and uh, the prophecy came today because that's how I prophesy now through the scripture the prophecy came today in Haggai and Haggai the 29th chapter said on the ninth month and the 24th day this is the day that I will begin to bless you look reflex oh you see that you see that you see that that went in your spirit of your mind that hit your heart that's why there was a natural response okay. Watch this. so we trying to get people we trying to get people to okay yes lord we're trying to make people have reactions in church when this ain't no reaction it's a response that's why you can see people Dr. Johnson react by shouting but then they can't live it because it was it was a, it was a reaction to stimuli but they didn't own it while you were preaching it thank you Jesus thank you Jesus God I just felt that 
My God, my God, I just, I just felt that thing in my spirit. I'm sorry, y'all. Lord, have mercy. That just hit me hard. Good Lord, have mercy. And that's why he said, that's why he said, listen, listen. In Psalms 19 and 14, let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Uh-huh. So why? So why is words come out of my mouth? Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So where is the meditation of my heart? Here. Stop loving the Lord because it's here. Yeah. I can't stop talking about him because it's in my heart. Yeah. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna I'm make you reach up there. It's in my heart. Y'all is y'all understanding what he's saying? Dr. Josh, you understanding what he's saying? Because yes. anybody in here understand what he's saying? Yes. That's why. <laughs> Good Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Oh God, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> Jesus, Psalms thirty-three and thirteen. Go, go there with me. Go, go there with me. Ooh. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I. Y'all forgive me. It's, 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 uh, it's Psalms. One second. One second. One second. Uh, I want to read that 12 and 2 out loud. Psalms 12 and 2. They speak deceitful and worthless words to one another. With flattering lips and a double heart, they speak. You don't hear the scripture talking about a double heart. You hear the scripture talking about a double-minded man because the heart is in the mind of man. Okay. Yeah, I get that. Everybody getting that? Yes. How do I know this? How do I know this? Watch this. Watch this, Danielle. This is going to bless you so good. This is going to bless all of us. You watching by internet is going to bless you so good. Because, because there is a section in that same area, Dr. Johnson, that's called the Brokers. The Brokers area. And the Brokers area is your supernatural spot. There's a spot that is in your brain called the brokers that that, that, that that has the wheel of man in it. And that's what causes you to be able to override what's coming in your frontal brain and be able to tell the devil he's a liar. You don't hear what I'm saying. God put a supernatural spot in your brain because he said, I'm going to connect with that right there. You don't hear me. When you receive my word in your frontal and you save it in your thalamus, then when you need a miracle, I know how to cause your mind to trust me when you can't trace me. Oh, I can't get God, I feel like shouting right there. That's where your trust come from. That's why you ought to say, God, I thank you for my mind. God, I thank you for my mind. Because guess what? This is not the He's not waiting to, to give you some comical, some little uh, uh, frivolous and, and fake feeling. You have a spot in your brain that's already supernatural. I just. I, I, Y'all, who is he preaching to? Who is he preaching to? Who is he preaching to? So when you, when you say, Lord, Lord, watch this, y'all. So when you get converted and be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your heart. 
I can't get nobody to talk to me. Be not conformed to this world. But the only way that I can transform you, you got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why? Because that's where your heart is. I don't know what I'm feeling tonight. I don't know what I'm feeling tonight. Supernatural. 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 <laughs> Good Lord have mercy. Supernatural. That's why you keep getting up. Supernatural. That's why when you want to quit, there's still a part of you that God can touch. God have mercy, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's why when you're out of the will of God, there's still a part of you that God can still reach. Who am I preaching to? He said, I built you that way. I built you in a way that you can return back to me. Who am I preaching to? Somebody better open up your mouth in here and give God a praise. I made that way. He wired me for the return. He wired me for the comeback. He wired me to do it again. He wired me. That thing just took me out. That thing just took me out. Because now I understand why when you're laying on your bed and you feel like giving up and you said I ain't going to church, all of a sudden your hands just start going up and you start saying, Lord, I thank you because it's your God spot. Who am I talking to right there? Who is God preaching to right there? You better tell yourself, I will always come back because he built me for revival. I don't hear y'all. He built me for restoration. He built me for a comeback. Who is God preaching to? He built me to do it again. You better give God a shout in here. That's why the devil hates you. That's why the devil hates you. Yeah, yeah, y'all sit down. That's why. Yeah. 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 Oh, come on. That's why the Bible said that, that, that God told, told the devil, you, you can touch everything about Job. I'm almost shy, yeah, but you just can't touch his soul. Hey, who am I talking to? Because that part belongs to me. That's why the Bible said in the book of Jeremiah 1 and 5, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you, which means who you were. Okay, let's, 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 let's clear this up. Let's clear this up. Let's clear this up. Let's clear this up. You can go on the operating table, pastor. Watch this. And you can need a new heart. And they'll search around the world for you a new heart. Because you still got a brain. But if you lose your brain, I don't care how much you got a heart. You are considered dead when your brain is gone. You better open up your mouth and give God a praise up in here. Yeah. 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 Y'all need music. I don't need music. I don't need music right now. I need to give him glory. Because you can take my kidney. You can take my liver. You can take my spleen. Who am I preaching to? You can take my lungs. But you can't take my brain. Because if you take that, you just took my life. Yeah. No, he preaching something right now. He preaching something right now. Pull that bass. Hear that la maha sing. Hear ba si da 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 he sing. Hold that man shalabako sike. Si da la la maha sike. Some 
Somebody better give him praise because I feel this thing. Somebody better give him praise because I'm telling you, I feel a miracle being birthed out in this place for somebody. Hold on, I'm a cassette at every head. I am a mama. Restoration of the brain, restoration of the heart, restoration of the mind. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Wait a minute. I'm just trying to make sure I got it all. Here that I'm a cosoli. Hashidi be his saka mashadi. Oh, Baba Basia. Here that I'm a cosoli. Kada Masaya. That's how you can keep going. You got an overriding power. That's how you can keep pursuing your dreams because God built you that way. Who am I talking about? You were wired that way. And that's why he said, when I sent Jesus, I redeemed you back. So I want you to stop dragging your feet about your future. I want you to get busy. Who am I prophesying to? I want you to pick up the reins like the book of Jeremiah said. I want you to drive forward and don't look back. I built you that way. What are you waiting on? Who am I talking? Who are you waiting on? You got you need right there in your head. And that's why. And that's why. When the devil want to mess with you. He mess with your head. Who am I talking to? He can put you in the bed for days. If he just speak the right stuff to your head. He can send you back to drinking alcohol. If he just put the wrong stuff in your head. Y'all yo, 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 sit down. I just got I just gotta make sure. I just gotta make sure that, that, I, that I got everything. I speak to every scripture you have ever read in your life. I speak to wake up in your thalamus. Wake up. Wake up in your thalamus. I speak to the thalamus of the man. And I call you to come back alive. I call you now to recall the word of God and the prophecy spoken over your life. Oh, that I'm a hasike. He said that I'm a hasse. He said that I'm a hasse. Hasho that I'm a higher. He said that I'm a higher than a higher. Miracle spot. Supernatural spot. Take over right now. He said that I'm a coach. He came. I say, He is the attire. Hasho that I'm a high. He said that I'm a hoshaya. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, my shame. Hey, my see my Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. So then, so then, so then, so then the, 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 the body of Christ, the people that God has ordained for himself and the people that the enemy know, he can't get you to go back on God. He can't get you to step outside of God. And so then, he causes circumstances and issues to be a part of your life so that he can incorporate now somatization in your life. S-O-M-A-T-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N. Somatization. And that's false illnesses. That's when the body starts shutting down and the doctor don't know why. That's when you have ailments in your legs and in your back and your kidney problem. And watch this. They're coming because uh, there's something that is going wrong uh, in the mouth. Hey, ha, ha There's something that's sitting in the thalamus that God uh, needs to get out. Oh, Bashaya. They're coming because you need a deliverance uh, in your mind. They're coming because the devil cannot stop you. And the only way he can, he got to do it in your mind. You better rebuke every sickness right now. 
I'm not getting nobody to talk to me right there. I said, you better rebuke every sickness. You better rebuke every addiction. You better rebuke it now. I don't care how many people is in here. I shook at myself. You better rebuke it. You're watching by Facebook. You're watching by television. You better call the devil the liar that he is. Oh, my Caesar. Here that I my Caesar. Here that I I got a scripture for you. Oh, but she came in, son. She did it in, but it's a son. Here that I am, son. Here that I am, son. Hey, but see ya. Oh, but, 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 hi ya. Here that I am, son. Hold on, I'm a son. What does he say? What does he say? What does he say right here? Watch this. What does he say? He says that God, 1 John 2 and 20. God's teachings illuminate our minds and guards us from error. Uh, I can't get nobody to talk to me right there. God's word illuminates our minds and guard us from claiming sicknesses and disease. God, I'm talking to somebody right now that's watching my internet. I can feel the healing virtue of God moving all over this building. You better check yourself because you're being healed right now. And I don't need a piano and an organ to confirm that. I said you better check yourself. You're being healed right now. Somebody that's watching right now. You're being healed from cancer right now. You go back to the doctor and I promise you, you're going to have a testimony. Be healed in the spirit of your mind. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Who is God praying for tonight? Who is God praying for tonight? The deep. I got an ending scripture for your prophecy. Ha! Oh my shit. Oh my shit. Hey, Basika. Hold on, I'm a ha. He said, I will. I will. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. He said, go over here and read it. He said, he said, in, in, in Hebrews 8 and 10, I, I will imprint it on your mind and engrave it on your hearts for regeneration. In Hebrews 10 and 16, I will imprint it on your heart and inscribe it on your mind producing on you an inward change. Okay, so, so first I said, well, well how's you doing the opposite? And that's what he said, because they both are one and the same. <laughs> oh my God. So, 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 so how you doing it on my mind? Why you, why, why you inscribing it on my mind for, for, for inner change? And how, how are you, how are you uh, 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 engraving it on my heart for regeneration. He said, because, because the miracle, the miracle, the miracle of the Christian is that I provoke you to salvation without your permission. Can, I'm just going to use the scripture. The Bible said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Come, come on, somebody you out before you were ever formed in your mother's womb. So watch this. So watch this. So I brought you into the world with a trigger that when I get ready for you, I'm going to pull that trigger. You don't hear me. God, I feel the Holy Ghost right there. I feel, no, no. You didn't get saved because one day you just decided that the song was playing and pastor was preaching and you just walked up to the altar. You were born with a trigger in you. Who is God preaching to in the internet? You can't run from God. You can't Son, what are you talking about? You were born that way. I chose you with a trigger in you. Yeah. 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 So he said, now, now, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that, 
I'm gonna let that word, watch this. I'm gonna let that word bypass. I'm gonna let that word bypass all that foolishness your frontal been doing. And I'm gonna send it right, right to, watch this. I'm gonna send it right to the belly. I'm gonna send it right to the belly of your mind. I'm a carve it in there and you're going to get up and come to the altar and say yes Lord and then while you telling me yes and while you repenting for all your sins then the next preach gospel is going to in your mind and it's going to cause you to start having interchange that we're going to see displayed on your outer okay 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 because watch this watch this because the mind the mind it's where I make the decision for what I'm going to keep. The hardest where I hide it. I'm on a journey with this one. I said, I'm on a journey with this word. Because here it comes. I'm, and, and I don't know about y'all, but I've been studying the brain since 2009. And that's how I operate. It's like it comes, I said, nope, 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 nope. Sometimes it comes and you be like, well, you know, I might as well. And my mind, Mother Gathers, my mind start counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you own that. And now you got to go get purged. And the Bible said, and how am I going to get clean by the word? Now are you cleansed by the word of God? Who am I talking to? I was spoken into the world by a word. Now how is alcohol going to change my mind? How is drugs uh, going to change my mind? How is a man uh, or a woman going to change your mind? If you were spoken into existence by a word, then it's only the word that can keep you alive. The Bible said, because none else can satisfy. No, I can't think that. Nope, that's not my thought. Because I'm a thinking being. We are thinking beings. We, Mother Gathers, we are thinking beings. We are thinking beings past to the point that medical scientists have proven that we think 24 hours a day. Now, 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 now this is going to get you right here. Medical scientists have proven in my studies that we think 24 hours a day. You ready for a blessing? You ready for a blessing? They have proven that during the daytime, the mind take it in. And at night, the mind process it. Okay, so what you go to bed with, you own. Come on, somebody. What you go to bed with, you wake up with. God, help me in this place today. Jesus, have mercy. Somebody better say something. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. Not only do you get rid of it in 10 seconds, but you better get rid of it before nightfall. Come on, somebody. Because if you got to process it all night and you ain't got nobody to help you and you ain't got no word from the Lord in the scripture to help you, you and listen, it ain't going to tell him what you going to wake up with. It ain't going to tell who am I talking to? Yeah, that's that thing where you say, I don't know what happened to me. I don't know why I did that. That ain't even me. It got in because you didn't reject it. Because Satan is the power and the prince of the air. He is legal to bring the evil imagination. That's that's why the Bible said in Genesis 6 and 5, when I looked and I saw all of their evil imaginations and the intents of their heart, he said, continuously in the earth realm. I said, okay, God. He said, no, no, no. This is why I tell you that you got to cast down every imagination because, because, Pastor, the brain is so it's so put together by God 
I just had a revelation that just hit my spirit. Oh my God. The braid is so well put together by God. And God, I got to close it here because my time is up. I'm on all zeros. It, 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 the brain is so, it's so fixed by God, Pastor, that the brain does not know how to decipher reality from imagination. Uh, see, see, scientists did a, did, did a study of a dog chasing a woman. And then they did a study of a woman being imagined that she was being chased by a dog. And watch this, the results was the exact same. Because the mind doesn't know how to say this is imagination. So everything it imagines is real. Now can I help us right now? Which means when God gives you to believe something and you believe it, it's real. You better hear me when I tell you that. My God, my God. That means if he gave it to me. Uh -huh, that means if he showed it to me. It's got to happen. Who am I talking to? It's real. That's why he showed it to me. He didn't show it to me because he might do it he showed it to me because it's already done okay okay now you can play now you can play oh, now you, come on now you, now you. oh my god oh, it's real it's real see y'all ain't saying nothing is y'all saying something out there on Facebook? It's real. It's real. If you saw it, he said it. You better lift your hands up in here. You don't know what you're working with. Now you know why the devil hates you so much. He hates you because you got a brain. Now watch this. Watch this. And the human brain is the only brain in the earth way watch this y'all that have been given the potential to leave this realm and go to another realm no other brain can do that 